Yo, what's good, dude? We're gonna be replacing a basket strainer, bro. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have installed one of these, um, like this specific strainer, but it's one of the most pieces of trash uh, strainers that I've ever put in. Man. Like that bracket that holds the uh, strainer together with the sink is so flimsy. And it always feels like the thing's gonna leak when you're tightening it down. It's such trash, man. So clean it up. We're gonna put some stay put by uh, Hercules to go to. Now my basket strainer of choice is this deep base. So if uh, a kitchen sink has the spacing underneath for a uh, deep, uh, that's what I'm putting in. And really the main reason why is because that cup right there, I like how it funnels in at the bottom and then the nut is a little bit smaller than like a traditional basket strainer because it just allows for easy tightening down. And it's better than the other one because you're not having to go through, you know, like one here, one here, one here, kind of rotate, get it all proportionally uh, cinched up. You can just grab one pair of pliers and start going at it and you can trust that it's gonna cinch it up proportionally so if i got the choice that's what i'm putting in got the rigid tubing cutters right here love those little guys they uh they make quick work of cutting tubular and it chamfers the pipe uh right then and there So, I mean, it's not really necessary to have chamfered tubular pipe, but if you can have it, why not, right? Funny story about that top hat washer, man. One time when I was uh, an apprentice, I didn't realize uh, what a top hat washer was. And uh, the journeyman had sent me out to get one because we didn't have one on the van. And uh, I ended up bringing back a slip washer and he was so upset, man because we had to go back to get it. And uh, yeah, he wasn't happy, it was funny. That's it, man, we're good, we're sealed. Peace.